robot conjures up what? Imagine a futuristic metallic humanoid in a spaceship. Imagine a gloomy future where robots enslave humanity, or a car assembly line with robot-like devices. Robots are here to stay. A robot is a machine designed to replace humans and animals. They might be human or animal-shaped. Humanoids are robots shaped like humans, but are not humans. Delta, six axis, cylindrical, Cartesian, etc. Industrial robots have particular duties. It doesn't look human, but may have a human-like artificial hand. Today we'll talk about androids and cyborgs. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon so you'll never miss an update about artificial intelligence, robotics, and future technology. Let's get started. Android. An android is a type of robot that has been programmed to appear and behave like a human being, with some depictions taking creative license to give them feelings. Androids are artificial beings that take the form of humans. To provide the impression that it is a human being, it is constructed from a substance resembling flesh. As a result of technological advances, the robots that populate science fiction are beginning to take on the appearance of human beings. Maco Robotics, based in Spain, is responsible for creating the food and beverage serving robot known as Kaim. It is housed within a booth and has a human-like head and body with two arms. Kaim has been tested in gas stations around Europe and in a brewery in Spain, where it was discovered that he is pretty skilled at pouring beer and can serve up to 300 glasses each hour. The humanoid possesses anything from 14 to 20 degrees of freedom and various intelligent sensors. It makes use of machine learning to enhance its capabilities. Cyborg A live entity that has been modified with robotic or mechanical pieces to increase its capabilities is called a cyborg. Fashioning them in the likeness of human beings or animals is possible. People mistakenly believe they are people even though they can take any form. For example, they have appeared in many science fiction movies like Star Trek. They are thought to possess strength, capabilities, heightened senses, brains based on computers, and physical abilities far beyond humans' capacity. An example of this would be a human being supported by a bot to target social media platforms with likes and shares. It has a human exterior while the inside is made of artificial material. Enhancement and prosthetic cyborgs are the primary categories typically used when discussing cyborgs. A person is considered a prosthetic cyborg if their body has been completely replaced with robotics. On the other hand, a person is deemed to be an enhanced cyborg if their body has been augmented with robotics. There are many distinct categories of cyborgs, each of which possess a unique set of capabilities. Fictional characters such as Darth Vader, Robocop, and Terminator are examples of this. First, you need to forget all about the dreadful garbage released after the movie that came out in 1987. There was a lot of trash. When female leads were either one-dimensional or utterly absent in blockbuster films, the original Robocop was a purposefully over-the-top ultra-violent satire of American culture that lampooned the endless stream of explosion-laden war and action movies of the era. It featured an intelligent and engaging female lead in a time when women were either completely absent or only featured in a one-dimensional capacity. Robocop became an instant pop culture phenomenon thanks to the robotic mannerisms, deadpan one-liners, and hip-holstered hand cannon of the reconstructed officer James Murphy. The film also affected the action movies that were made in the following several decades. Key differences between an android and a cyborg. Distinctions in Goals and Objectives The reason a cyborg is created as opposed to an android is the primary distinction between the two. It has been determined that having a helpful companion like an android would benefit humans. Cyborgs, on the other hand, have infirmities or physical impairments and have been fitted with artificial limbs to make their lives simpler. The Difference in Structure the most significant distinction between a cyborg and an android is that cyborgs are composed of human and machine tissue. In contrast, androids are made solely of mechanical components. Android robots have the same size and structure that human people do. They are designed to mimic humans. Cyborgs, on the other hand, 
have characteristics that are not present in humans at all. For instance, they may have a robotic arm or leg at their disposal. An android is an artificially created being that looks like a person but does not really contain any living cells or genetic information. On the other hand, a cyborg is an artificial being that incorporates biological parts into its structure. For example, a cyborg might have an eye implant or a robotic limb instead of a natural limb. Disparities in a variety of abilities Cyborgs can communicate and interact socially with humans using verbal and non-verbal means of expression. In general, androids have increased physical prowess. In addition, they can thrive in harsh environments that would be fatal to both humans and cyborgs. Cyborgs, in contrast to androids, can think in the same way humans do. Because of this, they are more suited for occupations that demand creativity, like those in marketing and advertising, whereas androids would be better suited for jobs that require less creativity, like those in the field of manufacturing and mining. In addition, in contrast to an android, a cyborg is capable of feeling emotions. Androids are incapable of experiencing emotions such as happiness, sadness, anger, etc. Still, they can imitate human behavior by reading facial expressions and body language. This gives cyborgs an advantage in vocations such as teaching and counseling that demand strong interpersonal skills. The Difference in Origin in most cases, humanoid corporations or businesses that focus specifically on the development of robots are responsible for producing androids. Cyborgs, on the other hand, might have improved bodies or artificial limbs attached to them. Both can be instructed to carry out predetermined activities upon request. One of the most striking parallels between cyborgs and androids is that both types of beings can be instructed to carry out a predetermined set of duties. An android, for instance, can be taught to take care of the home chores, but a cyborg might be able to perform additional manual labor thanks to their improved limbs. Because of this, they are both incredibly versatile and practical workers. In conclusion, although there are some similarities between cyborgs and androids, there are also some significant differences between the two types of robots that should be considered when determining which kind of robot is best suited for a given job. For instance, if it is more vital to have originality, then a cyborg would be the better option. However, if it's more important to have endurance and effectiveness, then an android may work better. Both an android and a cyborg can perform many activities that have been programmed for them, as well as one specific task that requires robotic or mechanical expertise. Nevertheless, one cannot simply be substituted for the other. On the other hand, a cyborg is not a substance created by man. Instead, it is a living being that possesses robotic characteristics that prove to extend the human capacities of the body. An android is a robot that was constructed. Android versus cyborg. In addition, the robotic components on a cyborg are not easily removable. But this is not the case with an android because android is a man-made robot. Its parts are easily removable. Its makers and manufacturers can change or update them as necessary. The majority of our population has only encountered androids and cyborgs in the context of science fiction up to this point. However, they are now becoming a reality. What do you think of today's video? Feel free to let us know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this one be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel and you'll find many more videos for you to enjoy. Thanks for watching and see you next time.